Hello and welcome to the channel. Today what we're going to talk about is using BizTalk Maps and flat file encoding in Azure Logic Apps. Standard. Let's go. So a little bit about why this content's important. So as organizations think about moving or migrating solutions from BizTalk to Azure Integration Services, data transformation and data type mediation is, is very important. So inside of the standard SKU, uh, there currently isn't the support for integration accounts. And so what are our options in terms of data transformation and say file encoding, decoding? Now we can use BizTalk Maps inside of Logic App Standard, provided they don't have functoids. At least this is the situation for now. For maps that do have functoids, you know, there are a few options. Some could be doing some pre-processing. So you're gonna have to remove the, the functoids but maybe you can do some pre-processing beforehand through the use of the JavaScript action that exists in Logic Apps or even doing functions, or maybe you do some enrichment before you do mapping. So that might be one option that you can go ahead and take advantage of. Now, in order to get our BizTalk maps slash XSLTs into our Logic App standard solution, we've got a couple options. Number one is inside of VS Code, there's an artifacts folder that includes both a schemas folder and a maps folder. We can include them in our project and then deploy it and then they'll go along for the ride up to the cloud. Or we can go ahead and upload them from the Azure portal itself. And so we'll use that method, the Azure portal for this specific video, but both, both are possible. Now, the next piece is what about existing BizTalk schemas? So for example, perhaps you wanna do some flat file encoding and turn an XML message into a flat file message, how can we go ahead and do that? The good news is we can go ahead and use those existing schemas where we've say use the flat file schema wizard in BizTalk and go ahead and encode the data inside of Logic Apps by just uploading the schema itself and then calling the right operation. So in this video, we're gonna focus on both of these different areas and I'll show you a sample of how this all works. Okay, so here we have a BizTalk map. Yes, I know it's quite simple, there's no functoids. Uh, but as I mentioned, you know we're aware of that issue, so we have to go solve it. Now, what we're gonna do here is we take this existing BTM file. We can't just go ahead and upload it directly into Logic Apps, that's not gonna work. But what we can do is we can upload the XLT that's behind it. And so how we go ahead and do that is we find our specific map in our Solution Explorer. Just right mouse click, then validate map. When we go ahead and validate the map, we're gonna see it's being written to a local disk and you're gonna find a .xsl file. What you do need to do is you need to rename that file to be .xslt and then you'll be able to go ahead and upload it in the portal or you can add it to your VS Code solution. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to use the portal, but uh, there's basically that artif artifacts folder that I talked about inside of VS Code, and you're gonna find a folder for maps and a folder for schemas. So here we go ahead and find our Logic App Standard instance. We then go ahead and find the maps folder in the left nav, and then we go ahead and click on the add button. When we do click on the add button, we can go ahead and find our .xslt, this is where you have to have it renamed, otherwise it won't be able to discover it. Go ahead, provide a name for your map, and then just go ahead and click the OK button. You'll then see it show up here in your maps area. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing for uh, a flat file schema. So what I've done here is I used the flat file schema wizard, and I went ahead and built out a schema based upon that sample file, and I haven't had to do any changes. This is as is, uh, we've got the XSD, and we'll go ahead and add it. Similarly to how we did it with maps, the difference is we need to click on the schemas area here first, and then we can go ahead and add the schema. No renaming required or anything like that, it just works, just goes in. Once uh, we have those artifacts in our, whether it's our folder in VS Code or inside of the Azure portal, now we can go ahead and build out a logic app that uses these specific functionalities. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Okay, so I'm inside the Azure portal. I've got an HTTP request. Nothing sort of special about this, just the regular configuration. I'm using a post 
which makes sense because I need to take a, an inbound payload. Then what I'm going to do is use the transform XML action. And where I'll find this, this is actually a built-in action. So that's good. We're using standard. So uh, that's a, a benefit. You can just go ahead and type in transform. And this is where you're going to see the different options. So we've got liquid if we were dealing with JSON or we had some liquid transformation scripts. I do have a video on that if you're interested. Then where we're gonna focus on today is XML. And so here we've got XML validation. If we wanted to validate the input, we could go ahead and do that. In this case, we're just gonna go ahead and transform. And so when we transform, we naturally need to provide some inputs. Here we would just go ahead and use the body from our HTTP request. And then here we can iterate what maps we wanna use. And here we would go ahead and choose uh, our appropriate map. We don't have the need to provide any more parameters, but uh, this is how we've configured this action. So I'll just delete that. Now, next up, what we want to do is some flat file encoding. And so similarly, this is a built-in action. We can go ahead and just type in flat file. And in this case, we want to encode the payload, right? So we want to encode an, ex an incoming XML file. Uh, if we wanted to decode, we could go ahead and, and do that as well, but that's not the goal of, of this video itself. So we would go ahead and encode. Once again, we need to provide some payload. In this case, it would be our transformed content because we did a map before, and so we would configure that, and then we need the schema naturally, and so we would go ahead and select our schema. So that's exactly how I had configured that action. Lastly, what we're gonna do is just output our basically our, our encoded content. And so we're just gonna send that back out through an HTTP response. Typically, you'd probably be using say a file folder, file connector, but uh, for this demo, just keeping it simple using HTTP. So now let's flip over to Postman and run this. So what I've done is I've copied the URL from my HTTP trigger, go ahead and paste it into that URL. I'm gonna call a post. I then go ahead and take my XML that I want to be able to transform and then convert into a CSV file. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And uh, yeah, I'm able to go ahead and run this and we should see the output here shortly. There we go. We go from a XML file that was transformed into another XML format. Then we go ahead and take that XML format and convert it to a CSV file. And naturally we could feed a, a downstream system that was dependent upon CSVs. All right, that concludes this video. Definitely interested if there's scenarios around BizTalk to Azure integration services migrations that are blocking you or just content you'd love to see please go ahead, add that to the comments. I'll do my best to accommodate from that perspective. If you're not following me on Twitter, go ahead and find me at Weirzy. And uh, on YouTube, always like, subscribe, comments, always welcome. So thanks again for tuning in and we'll see you soon. Thanks, bye.